All right, we call it the three-word game. We quickly, uh, succinctly sum up every game in three words. Here we go. We start with Denver-Cleveland Thursday night. Case of emergency. Listen, no Baker, no Nick Chubb, no Kareem Hunt. Case Keenum, 11 first downs passing. Baker averaged 11 and a half. 64% completion percentage. Baker averages about 66. So if you have to use Case Keenum, you're fine. Carolina, New York Giants. In on Deshaun. Yes, the Panthers are reportedly in on Deshaun Watson. They had a season-low three points. They got a field goal with their first drive and then went 11 straight drives without points. Sam Darnold has regressed, or has he? He just makes too many mistakes, and the owner of the Panthers is hyper-aggressive, and they've been now for the second time in on Deshaun Watson rumors. Jets, Patriots, Mac and Ease. Yeah, Mac Jones leads all rookies. Passing yards, completions, passer rating. Listen, he had 300 yards, 111 passer rating. This we know. Good feet, accurately dispenses the football, also helps to play with a big lead. But I would say of all the young quarterbacks, he did inherit the best coordinator, the best offensive line, and the deepest set of running backs. So that has helped, and yesterday was his best day. Chiefs-Titans. Kansas City, KC got barbecued. Uh, Two turnovers for Patrick Mahomes. Sacked four times against the Titans. By the way, Patrick has 11 turnovers this year. Uh, That's tied for most in the National Football League. And they have their fewest points, three, in the Andy Reid era. Their offensive line didn't help him, but his reads weren't great. He's had too many turnovers, getting a little sloppy. Washington Green Bay, packing for Phoenix. Here they go. They're 17-2 and at home under Matt LaFleur. Now they take the act to the Dome in Glendale. They've won six straight. Aaron on the seven-game winning streak. 15 touchdowns, one interception. Listen, there's a way to play Green Bay. Bracket Devontae Adams, force Green Bay to throw to somebody else. That's why I do like in a good game, Arizona to win. Atlanta, Miami, not too uh, long. Dolphins are one and six. Deshaun Watson rumored to be strongly pursued by the Dolphins. Tua, it should be noted in fairness, has played in the last two weeks. With a sense of urgency, he's completed 75% of his throws. He throws really well to the tight end, by the way. But I think this organization wants a splash. The owner, Stephen Ross, in on it. And they have been the most likely destination for Watson. Bengals-Ravens, first place chase. Jamar Chase. All of the Bengals' five touchdowns were five plays or fewer. It's a big play offense. A big play offense. Joe Burrow. 416 yards throwing. Um, I still think the offensive line's a work in progress, but he throws a really accurate, really easy football to catch, and they would be the number one seed in the AFC today. That is that is the definition of you found yourself a franchise quarterback. Rams, Lions, tricks, not treats. Listen, Detroit did all the tricks right. Onside kick, two fake punts. I will say this, great game plan. Left it all out there, and all of them worked. This was one. I don't like my punter throwing. That's not the one I liked. The other one, I thought this was the clever one. That was, look at that thing. I like the blocking on that puppy. I, I'm going to run that thing next week. if I'm McVay should steal it and use it next week. Uh, but the Lions were 0 for 5 in red zone opportunities, and that's always been the knock on Goff. He doesn't take advantage of opportunities. Eagles Raiders hurts to watch. <sighs> Three straight games, Jalen Hurts has completed under 60% of his throws. Uh, didn't get a lot of support, uh, made some mistakes himself, but it just, this was a bad one. It just was ugly. Houston, Arizona, Murray up offense. Fifth win by over 10 points, most in the league. And after a sluggish start, 31 unanswered points. Nobody scores as fast as Arizona. I mean, I'm telling you, it looks like Big 12 football. They, I thought they played really poorly for about a quarter and a half. Then you look up and you're like, yeah, game over. 
Bears, Tampa Bay, barely a game. First seven games this year, Bears have under 200 yards of offense. And I thought Brady's accuracy yesterday was really, really good. Justin Fields, three picks, two lost fumbles. He's the most sacked quarterback in the NFL this year, despite only starting five games. That sums up an egregiously bad offensive line. Colts Niners, Carson's night show. Yeah, Carson Wentz. How about this? 11 touchdowns, one pick. A little bit of a reclamation project. A lot of people question Frank Reich, but it is interesting. Some quarterbacks just work with certain coaches. We know that to be true, right? Brian Dables had a huge effect on Josh Allen. I think Carson Wentz, he's always been a big kid, a little reckless. But I really thought in the second half, they played really urgent football, aggressive football. And after a couple turnovers early, it would be easy to go conservative like the Niners did. They did not. Colts lit it up. Finally, St. Seahawks, for Pete's sake. Worst total defense in the league. Saints are coming off a bye, and Sean Payton coming off a bye. Usually pretty good. Good coaches off a bye. Watch out tonight. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.